Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Mzi and today we are doing episode 8 and today we will be focusing on music. Uh, I thought about this subject for a while and, and I was like, hmm, I think it's one of the most sensitive subjects. It's one of the subjects whereby uh, we miss it a lot. Uh, 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 I remember back back in the, uh, uh, when we started, also when I started, we we could not phrase music. Phrasing music means read music or understand music or being able to interpret what the music is saying to us. And and and, and, and I'm not going to come here and pretend to be an expert in music, but I'm going to try to help you to be able to identify the things that you need to know when you are presenting a class and how are you going to be able to work with the music. So back in the day, we would just jump on a beat and train whether we are in the beginning or at the end of the of, of the phrase, we just jumped and went. It did not matter and people trained. However, it, get, it goes further than that. When we were doing that at the time, we did not know. And, and, and as soon as we managed to know, it made, it helped us because now we were able to, uh, to use the music uh, in order to help people enjoy the class more than they did before because the music, uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't know that it was going to start like this. This is crazy. Right. There is a, a, a common perception or thought that when people are able to identify a 32 count phrase, they think they can teach. A lot of times when people are able to identify a 32 count phrase, they think that, yeah, we've arrived, we can teach. They just jump on the music and they teach. Oh, and they are able to hear when the music goes up and the music when the music goes down. They say, ah, no, we are done. We can teach. We master this thing. And then they do a combo and, and, and that's it. No, no, it is not, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you've just learned your 32 count uh, uh, phrase. That is the basic phrasing your music and being able to identify when the music drops and when the music goes up nah right let's go what is a 32 count phrase that's what this video is all about if you've just identified your 32 count phrase congratulations if you haven't you need to watch this video right so what is a 32 count phrase and how are you able to identify it in music i'm just going to take you a little bit back on the second episode we spoke about a bar but i never we never identified a bar so a bar is a is a four count phrase one two three four that's a bar right so let's identify a bar first before we identify the beat <laughs> i don't know why i'm starting with the bar before i start with the beat that's fine i think i like it even though this whole thing starts with a beat. But today, let's start with the bar. Okay, I'm going to my music, my gift as music, because I cannot play someone else's music. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, I've been using this gift as fitness volume too. Let me use another one today. Uh, just using one of the of the songs that I've made. Diamba. Let me play. I'm not going to go through the whole song. The song is phrased differently. Now, one, two, three, four. 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 Wait. 
now now in in mostly new music that one two three four it, there will be a beat playing there because that song is an ama piano song the beat is a lot softer so i'm going to just play the beat alone and you will hear the four count phrase there you go one two three four one two three four the nice thing is that at the end of the of 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 of, of 16 of these it goes ka ka one two three four one two three four one two three four two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four right that's a that's a that's a, that's that's the four count phrase it's called it's called a bar and all in all music you will you you, 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 you uh, we call it four by four you will find you will find that bar you will find that bar uh, when you're using um, that it, uh, they call it metronome it goes go 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 di go 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 di go go let me just play it here no i just want to play the metronome So that's the bar and what is a beat those four beats those are beats and then you've got a down beat and an up beat so the first one is the down beat the second one is an up beat the third one is a down beat the fourth one is an up beat now you put two of those you've got an eight count phrase let's play an eight count phrase in music now it's very important you should be able to identify the phrase because it's marked so let me play this song. Uh, am I playing the right song? I don't want to play a song that will put me in trouble. Okay, with the law. Right, let's go. Two, one. That's an eight count phrase. That's an eight count phrase. So when you get two bars together, you get an eight count phrase. We use that a lot in, in aerobics, eight count phrases. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. You understand? Yeah. Dancers use the same as well. Five, six, seven, eight, da, 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 da. You get it. So, so that, that that was the eight count phrase. Let me play it again. Listen carefully. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, if they are, they are words in your music, uh, this is what you will hear. Let me play it when they are words so that you can be able to hear it with words. Okay, listen. So if you listen to to the artist here that's singing thing kwenzenja nina ubizwe mbanina emazulwini ikaya lokugcina yezulwini so you will hear that this person that's singing here is singing on those phrases listen again is singing on those eight count phrases Two, one. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
get four of those eight count phrases four times eight is equal to 32 that's your 32 count phrase even when people are singing they will sing on those phrases they will work with the four beat the four uh, with the with the bar and an eight count phrase one two three four five six seven eight Obizwe bani na five six seven eight. E mazulini ikaya lokuti na yezulini. Right, let's go back again and and go through that thirty two count phrase. Four three two underscore. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. I will explain what a 64 count phrase is when we're doing a uh, music two. This is the first uh, uh, basic, basic music. But when we're doing music two, I will explain when we're doing part two of music. I'll explain what is a 64 count phrase and, and, and all those other things that we spoke about before. So let's go to another one so that maybe you and I will recognize it better if it's coming in a form of rap. Let's go. 32 count phrase. So one thing I want you to hear is more like every line that is being sang is, 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 is falling onto those phrases. And another thing that is important, it keeps going up until it gets to the last one. Let's play it again so that you can hear it. When I saw the body, the trick is you should be able to hear the tone of the third one which tells you that the next one is the last one. I don't know, I hope I'm not complicating this. Let's go back to a normal 32 count phrase and we just listen so that you can hear what I'm talking about on this verse now. <laughs> So yes. So you need uh, uh, with music you need to if you can get the thirty two count phrase it's a good then you are able to learn a lot of other things and and the best way to get it is that when you listen to music now I want you to try and identify the four count phrase and be able to identify the eight count phrase which is a sentence of the music and then be able to identify the 32 count phrase which is a paragraph of the music so let me play a different type of a song and we listen just to the phrases Thank you. 
So that melody helps you to identify this. Let's play another song. Uh, do I have another hip hop song here? Mm, I think it's this one. Let me just do this. Yes, let's, let's play this one. Four, three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. I'm sure you get this. So you, if you can identify those and be able to mark where it starts, and then now you sing your moves with it. When we teach, we sing your moves with those, uh, with those, with those phrases. So please make time when you're listening to music now. Try to listen to it. Listen to the builds on the other side of the back. I don't know if I taught this very well. Uh, please ask the questions so that I can be able to know how I explained this. Uh, let me know if you are able to, to identify this after this session. Because this is a very important session. Because if you can identify the 32 count phrase, then it gives you a good base to start on. But you are still very far. That's the, that's, that's the other part. It's that when we can identify the now I remember when I first identified the, the 32 count phrase back in 2011 or 2010, somewhere back then, I thought that I I got this, but unfortunately it was just the beginning of everything that I was doing. I think it was 2011 if I'm not mistaken. So please learn learn these phrases. I remember the person that taught me was losing I uh, he really, really, Tabo, Tabo Musingai. Uh, I, I don't know if he goes, I, I don't know what name he uses, but he's from Porch. Uh, he's, the, he's the founder of, what is Musingai's club? I forgot Musingai's club. Culture, something culture. Hey, I don't know, I forgot that name. I forgot that name. You will forgive me, my, my problem. 
I really I haven't spoken to him in a while. But that was my first coach. He's the guy that taught me the 32 count phrase. And and and, and ever since then I kept on learning from more people from UFD. I learned from LB a lot from LB. I learned from Zebo and from Gordon. And each every lesson that I've been getting from these people, there, there was also an element of music and you find that we were going deeper into the music until I I, 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 I started the songwriting as well and produced some beats as well, but none of these were produced by me. All the beats that I play today I am are produced by Embrace Music Beats. Uh, he's my producer. If you want my music, go to Zim Nyasi on Spotify, YouTube. Zim Nyasi topic on YouTube, or you can search on my channel. I have music there. And you can go on iTunes, you'll find my music there. And, 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 and especially there is also aerobics music. Make time, listen to the music the way I, I explained it here and, and see if you, you are passionate. Yeah, so please let me know. And, and please, guys, don't forget, continue sharing these videos so that we are able to, to reach more people. So, yes, that was episode 8. Thank you very much, guys. I woke up, what time is it now? 12, 12 on the 15th. I woke up, I was like, let me go and look at the video. So, I'm going to quickly edit it now and go to bed whilst the video is rendering. Thank you very much. I love you. I'm out of here. Peace.